Grandma, how's it going up there? You're watching, right? How do I look right now? I'm guessing pretty bad. In terms of spiciness at the Mabo Curry Shop, it's at least it's in, right? Okay. I get it, Grandma. All right, per usual. The situation might be tough, but it doesn't matter, really. After all, even if there only seems to be doom at the end, there's only one way forward. That's to keep on fighting nobly. Because that's the full cut family way! All right. Here it goes! <laughs> one-on-one -on -one fights. Then, even the spiciest Mabo curry ain't that bad. Right? Here it goes! Here it goes! Prepare! Here it goes! I bring it on! taken down. Well, whatever. Thanks to this, I was able to buy that peddler enough time to escape. And that makes all of this worthwhile. Of course, now, it comes down to how nobly I can finish this thing. Right. This is it. Time to put it all on the line. Make this last fight one to remember! for a second. Apparently so. But still, for as long as I live and breathe, I promise, I won't let you die in a blaze of glory, Leo. <laughs> you trying to steal my thunder? But seriously, thanks, guys. Now, let's do this! You, you got, got it! it. for me. Sure. Celia, you take that in. Hey, wait a minute, Leo. I thought we were saving your life. So how come you're the one bossing us around? <laughs> Did you see that, Grandma? The 
thrilling comeback from an almost certain death. It takes a noble spirit to put on that kind of show. But guess who's got one? Me, Leo Fukad. All you did was get rescued by your childhood friends. If anyone deserves credit for acting nobly back there, it's me and Celia. We're risking our lives to save you. Ha <laughs> ha. All right. Let's get out of here while we can. Leo? You okay? Sure. No problems here. If memory serves, there's a village not far from here. It's on the smaller side. I think it was called Ducey. Why don't we head there for now? We can rest and pick up supplies. Sounds good. Talking about spicy curry to your grandma in that life or death situation. It came off a little more cute than noble. It reminded me of you as a kid. Oh, you heard that, did you? Mm-hmm. So what are we gonna do with you? You end up in mortal peril every time we take our eyes off you. Not every time. Relax, you don't need to treat me like I'm an infant. Honestly? You'd be easier to watch if you were an infant. You'd have to crawl towards danger instead of sprinting. Look, it's not like it's intentional. I don't go out looking for trouble, it comes after me. This time, in the form of someone who needed help. This time, huh? Okay, like most times. I'm sorry, all right? Sheesh. Here it goes! Come on! There! sound like it. I mean, this isn't the first time we've had to bail you out. You're the best. The most reliable pals a guy could ask for. Keep up the good work, you heroes. Yeah, I think you're laying it on a little thick there. No. this forest. It's a nice place for a walk. We're not here on vacation, Leo. Right, but I understand how he feels. Having grown up in Sylvair, we're practically one of the forest. Well, yeah, I get that.
Looks like we've cleared the woods. Is the village you mentioned past these grasslands? Should be. So, how did you wind up in that mess anyway? Ah, uh, well, I came across this peddler, you know, a guy with a cart. He was running for his life from these beasts, and, well... And you just couldn't turn a blind eye. Yeah, that sounds like you, Leo. But where did he go after you stepped in? Where do you think? He ran to safety. All thanks to yours truly, who got the beast's attention. <sighs> Leo, this was a total stranger, right? Huh? Yeah. Uh, Leo... Did you get anything in return for helping him? Did you get his contact information? Did he at least thank you in some way or form? <laughs> Don't be silly, Celia. There wasn't any time for that. Obviously. As if we're talking about what I got in return, I just boosted my nobility big time. What could be more valuable than that? Hey, why are you staring at me like that? Nothing. We just need to keep an even closer eye on our boy. Right, Mama Celia? Right, Papa Hugo. Just be careful. Don't let our little troublemaker stress you out too much. Guys! What's going on here? Where did all these bow wiggles come from? We don't really have time for this. But if we let them go free, they might cause harm to the village. Let's take them out quickly. Right then. Let's do it! I'm already on it! <laughs> Good now, right? I think so. Let's move on. Why do you think there were so many of them? Maybe they were out enjoying this beautiful day. Even Fulwiggle's got to bask in the sun every now and then. Yeah, I highly doubt that's what they were doing. and whatnot. What do you think we are? Did you hit your head or what? Yeah. 
Can you get him up to speed, Celia? Okay. Bring it on! Pay attention. After growing up as childhood friends, we enrolled at the Federation's Edis Knight Academy together. The three of us are first years. We're students of the class Blades. Are we good so far? Yeah, of course. You can keep going if you want, though. What's with that arrogant air of yours? <sighs> All right, I'll keep going. So, being with Blaze means that we're a bit special. We serve as an immediate response force that takes on missions when the army requests it. Right. And we get these missions because we're so special and awesome, right? Like we've already got our embleos and everything. I guess you could put it like that. Still, that doesn't make us defenders of world peace. <sighs> embleos are pretty amazing though, huh? Letting you control powerful mana like that? The training to wield them well is pure murder, though. And since they're so powerful, we have to be careful. Power can help or harm depending on how it's used. Yeah, you're right. Hi Bring it on! Come on! Tell us what our mission is, Leo. The one that instructor Lizette gave to the entire class. After having us assemble outside the school today? coming back to me now. I recall an Imperial spy was on the run, right? Nice. Good memory there, Leo.
did we already track him down? And turn him in? Or no? Nope. We still haven't caught this guy. Heck, we don't even have any clues as to where he is yet. At least you know where things stand. But something about this strikes me as odd. Hasn't it been quite a while since we left school, Celia? Indeed it has. Yet we haven't even started our search yet. Which is strange, because I'm not sure if we've noticed. But we're already battered and bruised, despite that fact. Um, that... <sighs> Now, Leo, sizing up this situation, do you have anything to say to us? Uh, I... You what? I'm really sorry, okay? I, Leo Pukat of Class Blaze, 18th generation of the Edis Knight Academy, solemnly vow to focus on our mission to hunt this spy. First things first, though. We need to deal with these beasts. Whoa! Did all these guys show up? Looks like we're up against a whole pack of them. You two up for this? Sure! Of course! Hey, take that! Come on! this fast. Come on! competing. Mr. Defender of World Peace whining already? I, I'm not whining. Hang in there. World Peace is coming soon. Yes, and everyone's hopes rests on you, Leo. Guys.
pillage. This is such a re look there. Introduce ourselves later. For now, just run. Get to safety. Hey, Celia. I've got her. Here, I've got you. Come with me. Well, well, well. Looks like you two aren't so different from me after all. Push come to shove, you'll risk your lives for a stranger too. Yeah, I'm not in much of a position to argue. So, tell me, what should we do now? Whatever we can, just try and hold out. Damn, I messed Leo, get back. You're not in great shape. doing here I can explain later get ready I'm no Celia but I'll support you in her place just hold the line for me okay thanks for stepping in Michelle your healing arts this will be a cinch you can count on me after all I'm an Academy cadet too I didn't expect to run into you here Michelle well, Instructor Lisa brought me to provide support. Um, hey, you should turn around and focus on the fight. Uh, my bad. We made it. That we did. In large part, thanks to your help, Michelle. That could have gone bad if you hadn't shown up. Oh, I'm sure you would have been fine. 